after Naka got rid of Tengu, he decided to go back along the coast, explore some of the land he hadn't gone to before. It was a strange place, arid on one side, harsh jagged iron on the other. After some exploring, he came across a strange settlement that kept giant crabs as companions. He wanted to trade with them, but they refused. Dang, they refused to trade with Crabless. After inquiring about these crabs, they gave him directions to their capital, far to the east. Upon arriving at this strange settlement, Nak found a thriving little community, with giant crabs guarding the front gates and also walking around in the settlement. It was here also that he met the Crab Queen. After a lengthy discussion about crabs, their benefits, and Nak's opinion of them, Nak found himself allies of the Crab Raiders. By doing this, he was able to learn the secrets of their armour, as well as buy crabs for his utopia. After stopping off in the bar, he met Lumi, someone who is extremely enthusiastic about crabs, but seemed stuck in this settlement and wanting to get out. Nak felt sorry for her, and asked if she wanted to come along and join their settlement. She agreed, but she wanted to bring some crabs with her, as she said it would be too much for her to leave them alone. So Nak purchased some crabs for her, to act as bodyguards on her way back to the settlement. Nat gave her thorough instructions on how to get to the Utopia, and then left her with the crabs, to make the long journey back. After this, Nat continued further up the coast, finding strange settlements, like the headquarters of the Reavers, a giant building just known as Ark. Sneaking in, he was managed to find that this was where their capital was, and their leader sat on the throne. After being discovered, he had to run quickly to escape, and was lucky to get away with his life. After travelling further north, he came across another strange settlement. This one, a cult that seemed to worship blood, sacrifice, and death. Nak knew that this was another people that needed to be wiped out, he needed to cleanse these people of the land before they could cause any more harm. After this, Nak decided it was time to go back to the settlement, time to teach them the ways of how to make the crab armor, and to drop off some supplies that he'd gathered on the way. Upon passing the free city, Lumi met up with some anti-slavers. They kept her company during the long journey back to the settlement, as well as acting as bodyguards. Once Nak arrived, he taught Heft and a number of others how to make the crab armor, how to beat plates and make heavy armor. Heft then proceeded to practice, making set after set, and Nak journeyed back and forth to the way station where his scouts were resting to drop off the armor and replenish their supplies. Now his scouts were fully kitted out with some of the best armor they could get. He was incredibly strong, incredibly intimidating. Now, between their attack and defense, they were now an unstoppable force. Hello my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. So we are here with everyone fully upgraded. We've it's been it's been a long time actually since the last episode. It probably doesn't seem like it, but it really has. I've been busy with getting armor set up and prepared like I showed in the little intro. So we've been making a lot of crab armor, getting Hong to a decent level in armor smithing. He's now nearly level 85, which is amazing. So he now basically makes specialist every single time with the rare chance. So I think it's about 6% that he could get masterwork. So really, really pleased with how well that's going. We've got a few people. We've got Fismit, Ark, and one other, I can't remember at the moment. They've been making armor plating and stuff. I've got Ank on chainmail chainmail takes forever i didn't realize how long chainmail takes to make uh, we got a couple of guys who are lacking shirts so i thought i'll get on that but they've they've taken forever just to make this one shirt so chances are they're probably not gonna be ready anytime soon but never know maybe before next episode we'll uh, we'll have a fresh load of shirts ready for everyone our guys are nice and prepped they're ready look at igor he's absolutely huge it's ridiculous he's huge anyway but with this crab armor he just looks so much bigger I have given Igor the best armor that we could get. So he's got masterwork crab armor. He's got masterwork samurai leg plates. To put in perspective, I believe this is still the meta in terms of best armor combination. So crab armor, crab armor head, samurai leg plates. The boots, I think, are meant to be samurai boots. However, I couldn't, I can't actually make those yet. So I stuck with crab boots for the time being. The only issue is with crab armor that it lowers your dexterity by quite a lot. So basically what I've had to do is replace most of their weapons. Most of them now have either blunt or heavy weaponry with mostly blunt damage. I've tried to get the best that I can. A couple of them are still the old weapons, so like hacker and stuff, just because they are like they're decent weapons. But masterwork crab armor is like the best armor. Look at the harpoon resistance, 102. It can basically just shrug off a harpoon amazing absolutely incredible 81 cut resistance as well is just the best in the game this is like the best armor in the game i think you can get so 
pretty, pretty pleased about that. But anyway, like I said last episode, we've got a few different things to do. I need to go up here because I need to go take out the United Heroes League. I might just send Igor up there on his own. Sure, why not? <laughs> There's only a couple of them there. Send him in to go take them out. There's a couple of other places we need to visit on the way. As I showed in the little intro, there's the cult village that we need to go take out. There's Black Dog HQ I think we need to go take out. And then as we travel down, we've got Reavers that we need to take out. The Skeleton Bandits, the Skin Bandits. Now that we allied with the Crab Raiders, we're actually enemies with the Reavers, the Skeleton Bandits and the Skin Bandits. So we're going to want to take them out fairly quickly. And then after that, I think we're basically there. There's not that many other places we really need to take out. The only other major faction that I think we should probably have a look at taking out is the cannibals. We haven't really touched upon the cannibals at all this series. However, with Keizo, it does add the option to take out a good portion of the cannibals and kind of resurrect Dead Cat as a faction. So that's what we're probably going to aim to do as like season finale, try and get that done. Because the cannibals are a pest, they're a pain in the ass, And it'd be really good to kind of just get that done. The United Cities is basically wiped out to my knowledge. I do need to double check this, but I'm pretty sure it's wiped out. I'll use Igor to check Stout and Shobatai on the way, and then I might loop down, check out Heft as well. But I'm pretty sure they're all wiped out now. So yeah, that's the plan. Ooh, Stota's actually Tech Hunter now. Oh, that's cool. It says there's a max number of eight, nine. I think uh, Igor should easily be able to take out eight or nine. I mean, look at him. He's like <laughs> eight, nine times the size of someone. So he is huge. He should be fine. Right. It looks like Shobatai is run by the Empire Peasants, uh, which is cool. Right. We've arrived with Igor at the United Heroes League. Is this it? I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting, but there's a couple of turrets. Not really much else. We're not actually enemies with them, but they were joined in with United Cities. Seem to be very, very chummy. So I think they probably deserve to uh, have uh, Igor have a go at them. I think that's only fair. Right, go on in, Igor. Jump in. See what they're like. Oh, God, there's like none of them. Hello. Lord Mirage. You sound like you might be a person to attack. There we go. What in Narco's teats? Oh, 139. Right, go on then. Smash. They're now hostile to you. Yep, I thought they were dead. Instantly dead. Instantly dead. Okay, right. He's down, he's down. They're they're all just they're all just falling. All right, go on in, I got take out the last couple. Oof. <laughs> Completely negated the harpoon. Nice. Oof. <laughs> okay, well, he's dead. They're both just dead instantly. I think that's the end of the United Hero League, isn't it? Pretty sure. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they're just all dead. Okay, right. Move down to Heft. We'll see what's going on at Heft, and then we'll meet the others. Right, the rest of us, we are just on the outskirts of Black Dog HQ by the look of it. I think we should just run in. Now, you may notice I keep getting, it says, receive skeleton repair kits. I don't know why. Basically, when we took Lumi and the crabs in the little intro that I showed, and we got the anti-slavers to basically act as bodyguards for her, they just followed us. We, we didn't ask for it. They just decided to follow us. They seem to just be now stuck at our base. I might just need to import the game, but they seem to be constantly bodyguarding someone. And then after that, it will latch onto someone else and then it will reset. They seem to be giving us first aid kits or skeleton repair kits. I don't know why. They just seem to be constantly doing that. So just try and ignore that if you can. I'm going to try and edit out what I can, but there, um, it's just a bit of a pain in the bum, really. Right, Knack, unlock the gates. You lot, wait, because this is it, isn't it? Yeah. Again, I was expecting it to be a bit grander than this. Right, okay, we're in. But Knack, I need you to hang out here for a minute because I don't really want you inside. The rest of you, let's just file in. Where are they? Here they are. Oh, God. Okay, there's uh, actual dogs. Oh, look at this. Uh, Minamoto, what you... Oh, take you all off hold. Right, you lot, just go. Do your thing. Black dog are now hostile towards you. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Right. So I don't know who the leader of this place is. Is there a leader here? Did we just kill the leader? Knack, you want to come up and unlock the safe? That'll be good. I don't know if there's any more. What's in the safe? What's in the safe? Oh, save. I'll take that. Uh, take some food as well. Sure, why not? What is that? A Pilgrim's Nodachi. Never seen that before, so I'm going to take it anyway. What the hell is that? Totem axe. I've got no idea what that is. 
I'm going to take it, though. It looks cool. Right, so is that black dog white tail? Huh, I don't I don't know. Do they have a leader? They don't seem to have a leader. Maybe they don't have a leader. Maybe they're just a tiny little faction without a leader. I don't know. Well, that, that's all right. We've done that. Uh, let's move over to the cult village now. Go take on them. Right, here we go. We arrived at the preacher cult. These guys don't seem like good news. I mean, anything that has cult in it doesn't sound like it's particularly good. Purify them, return their blood to the sand. Okay, yeah. That, you see what I mean? Yeah, there we go. How strong are they? Oh, they're weak. They are They are literally garbage. Right, attack them. Go. Just wipe them out. Take them all out. There we go. Peach can't now hostile towards you. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> The leader's probably going to be in here, I take it. The preacher. That looks like it's going to be him. Got an interesting weapon, and he's basically butt naked apart from that. Right, okay, we need to take out that guy then. Literally got nothing. He's, he's down already. thor has got him. Uh, he's got nothing on him. Right, okay. Well, pick him up. That's right. They're so weak. Like, so weak. I mean, our guys have taken basically no damage a limb just flew into the air i will just quickly go double check to see if there's anyone anywhere if there's any slaves or anything we can free that sort of thing now, it all seems fairly tame so far uh but i mean they did say they wanted to return my blood to the sands and purify us and stuff so it's like they're clearly not very nice people i suppose we should just go come on then, let's make our way out there we go just finish them off there we go igor are you nearly here Igor's nowhere near. <laughs> He's going to be a little while longer. Okay. They'll give us time to clear up, I suppose. Oh, there's another leg going. My leg. Yep, yeah, there we go. Another leg. <laughs> Legs flying everywhere. Oh, I'm loving this, though. This armor is amazing. We've basically took no damage. Yeah, both of those enemies are fairly weak, but still, that was, um, that was pretty impressive. Apparently, <laughs> we picked up the wrong guy. We didn't actually pick up the preach. We picked up some moon guardian. So I just got Igor's back. And I just thought, screw it. We're going to send Igor in to take care of this guy. <laughs> wow. Okay, left arm is gone. And, yep, he's down. Okay, Igor, pick him up. There we go. Got a moon cleaver. A nice weapon. Okay, let's travel down to Ark then. There we go. Igor, you've got this guy. Do, can we turn him into anywhere? 15k with everyone. Okay. Uh, might just leave him be for the time being. We find some beak things or something i might chuck him in there let's go wipe out the reavers and then we'll continue down we'll go take on the skeleton bandits we'll take on the skin bandits skin bandits should be a piece of cake because it looks like we just need to remove their cpu units and we'll be fine after that we will travel back up i think i think these old control towers would be quite cool because it looks like they've got a couple of things going on with them so we'll check them out so we haven't actually gone into them although we've passed them so many times after that yeah we will see Right, here we are. We're at Ark. And there lies the headquarters of the Reavers. Oh, we've got a single Reaver coming to get us. Flog. Right, that's, that's showing what we're made of. Oh, there we go. That was nice. Right, they're like fairly strong. Their armor is pretty poor by the look of it. Yeah, so hopefully they're quite strong. But if we can just attack them head on, we should be fine. I think what we might do while we're waiting, I might take Knack and run away. He's quite encumbered anyway. Right, you guys, head over to here. Knack, because you are not particularly well suited to fighting like that, I'm going to send you... Let's just explore the coast a bit. Sure, you go explore the coast. Right, is there anybody in here? There we go. Right, go attack that one. Charge! These poor guys do not know what's coming. <laughs> Oh, and I got 172. Oh, dear. You guys attack that one. You guys attack that one. I just need you guys to stay here. I wish there was like a radius so you could do it. So attack all meant only in a certain radius around you. Because it's a bit ridiculous that they're going to run upstairs to go take them on. No, Greeny, like I said, stay down here. Dimac, stay down here. Okay, you know what? If it's going to be like this, let's just go upstairs. Fine. You've pulled my leg. Go upstairs. Okay, and the leader is where exactly? Right, do we have any prisoners? We've got a lot of prisoners. Reaver slaves. We've got a lot of them. Oh, there we go. There he is. Right, he's there. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Just keep going. 
We've got amazing armor. We should be fine against them. And unless Greeny, for some reason, decides to run ahead. No, get back. Okay, the leader is coming to fight us. Good. Fight all. Go. Here he is. Let's just keep an eye on him. He's actually dealing some damage. I got... Get him. There we go. Nice. Get on the chest. Right, one more hit to the chest and we're good. Swing. There we go. Oh, that's a nice sword as well. Baldrick, pick him up. And Baldrick, I need you to get out of here. Go. Are we clear of this place? I think we are. Was there anything worth stealing in here? Dimmac, pick that lock. Uh, it's not actually that big a deal. Right, go free some of the slaves. Uh, what have we got? Ooh, backpacks. And not a bad katana. Right, okay, you can take that then. Okay, let's go free all the prisoners then. Go on. Right, there we go. Set them free. You did it. Hooray. Right, keep going. Ooh, that's a nice little weapon as well. Let's take that one. No, and that's going to be all food. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's make our way out of here then. We did it. We completely wiped them out. I think we killed about 10, 15 of them. Dimak, are you all right? You're carrying a slave. Uh, we'll wait till we get downstairs, then we'll put them down. This particular slave didn't want to leave, so I thought I'd uh, help them out. Right, okay, Dimak, and put the slave down. Okay, are they running back? They're getting back into the cage. Okay, well, some people you just can't help. Right, go on back to Baldrick. Let's go, go, go. We've got these guys heading down to Iron HQ to take on the Skeleton Bandits. Knack is on his way. Who are you? Oh, upgraded Skeleton Bandits. The robots are the masters of all. An end to the Hiver. Let's have a look at their stats. This is not graded ones. This is like the strongest we're probably going to have to fight. Um, looks like heavy armor. Not too bad stats. Uh, looks like hacker weapons. Well, we've got like the highest cutting resistance in the game on our armor. So I think we're okay. Let's continue on our journey. See if we can find anything that's worth looting. Otherwise, if we can't, we'll just uh, meet them down at Iron HQ. There is this outpost here in this ruin here that might be worth looking at. Uh, same with that one there. So we'll have a look at those worst comes to worst. Ooh, discovered tower. There's a tower here. Right, okay, so let's go to this tower. Uh, we'll check that out. Then we'll go to the outpost over there, see what they've got. Go to the ruins. Meet the others back at this outpost, maybe. That's probably a good plan. Right, okay, so we're at this tower. Uh, tower of spiders. That doesn't sound fun at all. Uh, okay, no. Um, run. Nah, run. <laughs> Who's attacking you? Yeah, skeleton bandits. Okay, attack all, go. Let's see how well we do against them. <laughs> okay, that'll do it, Igor. That will do it. Pretty weak in terms of blunt resistance. Pretty happy we weren't with blunt in the end and this uh, this get up. They don't have any first aid kits. Is that because they see themselves as skeleton bandits so they don't need first aid? Oh, okay. Well, uh, this should be fairly easy to take them on then. They're not even able to heal themselves. Right, there's a ruin right here that looks fairly cool. Right, all of you get into this ruin. I just want to have a quick peek at this place. There's not really anything in here. Proper, proper ruin. Uh, what have we got over here then? Skeleton repair kits? Do we need any skeleton repair kits? Uh, pick it up, sure. Well, anyway, now that we've gone to that, I think we should go to Iron HQ. Go take on the skeleton bandits. Knack is at this outpost. Let's go have a little sneaky sneak. This looks more promising in terms of loot. Oh my god. Hello. Uh, <laughs> we just had a load of crab raiders up here out of nowhere. Are you just going to follow me? I guess so. That's not a bad pole arm. Let's take that. They're running upstairs. Oh, security spiders. I'm glad the crab raiders are here. That's not bad blunt weapon wise. 100 blade. We'll take it. If we find anything better, we'll uh, drop it. But it looks like quite a good heavy, heavy weapon. A hacker. No, we don't need hacker. We want to find the engineer books or anything like that. Uh, we've got normal books. Uh, no. No. Um, is that it then? Not much here. I thought there would be more. Let's head down to that ruin then. Go on, Nack. I wonder if your uh, friends are going to follow you. No idea. We'll see. Right, we're at the crags. Next to Iron HQ, uh, 105 actual number of residents, max 95. That's a lot of people. Should we just head to the top? Where are we in the scheme of things? Oh, they're just there. Oh, they are following you. Oh, good. You've got your little, uh, you've got your little bodyguards. Mass amount of crab raiders. Excellent. Oh, there it is. And it looks like a gurgler. Um, I don't know what the hell a gurgler is. 
We're okay. We're at this little place. I don't. I saw gurgler, but um, it's not gurgler. It's soldier bots. So I don't know who that gurgler was. Crab breed has been knocked unconscious. I don't know if the others are following us anymore. They seem to have just disappeared. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see if we can actually get into this place. It might be a bit too risky. See if we can sneak. We do have pretty good sneak, and they've currently got their backs turned to us. Right, pick lock. Oh. Okay, they've just noticed us. Um, Knack, I need you to run. Run. Go. <laughs> run, 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 run. Oh, no. There's our friends. Right, they've come. Oh, excellent. Crab Raiders, help. Help, help, help. There we go. Right, Knack, I need you to sneak round the other side then. See if we can loot up here. Da, 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 da. Pick the lock there. Oh, yes. That's what I'm after. Excellent. Oh, Jesus Okay, we've just got six of them right off the bat. I don't think I've ever seen that many in one space. This was definitely worth it. How are the crab breeders doing? They're doing all right, actually. Go on, you beautiful, beautiful crabs. Thank you. Another ancient book. And that'll be all for there. Let's go to the other side quickly. Two more ancient books. Thank you. No, that's it. Okay, that was a good haul. We could go look over here, I guess. And you head off. You remain sneaky, sneaky. Crab Raiders can finish up here. And we're here at the crags with the rest of the guys at the Skeleton Bandit place. This is a weird place, isn't it? Got so many people. Upgraded skeleton guards. Is this meant to be their houses? Right, can we actually go round them then? If we if we all go sneaky, sneaky, we go round to here and then into the house itself. We we might have a better chance. I don't really want to fight all of them in here. Andre Crab Raiders ended. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Because uh, it looks like there's probably going to be at least 30 in these houses alone. If we can bypass them and just get in here, a lot less enemies to have to deal with. Have they actually seen us? Yeah, a couple of them have seen us. Right, stop sneaking. Attack those ones. Go. I mean, we snuck around them and only two out of the however many noticed us. That's not too bad. Oh, come on, they're taking ages to take down. Okay, that's one. They do have skeleton repair kits on them. That's hilarious for the fact that they've got nothing actually to fix themselves up. Although that one did have a tiny little first aid kit as well. But maybe some of them do have first aid kits and they're a bit sneaky like that. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Can we go sneaky, sneaky again? If we can get in without them noticing us, that'd be good. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> in we go. Right, before anything else, it looks like they're just about to attack us. Uh, let's have a quick peek around where we are then. So we've got quite a few skeleton guards uh, upstairs. Again, we've got a couple, well, quite a few guards, actually. They're just all hanging around casually. That's fair enough. And on the top floor, a load of skeleton repair beds. Nice. We're going to need them. Uh, is there anyone else? Is there anyone who's like the clear leader? Um, Well, <laughs> the one skeleton, maybe? Elder. Diplomatic status. He's going to, that's, that's going to be him. Right. Okay. I think we're going to have to take this guy out then, aren't we? All of you, get here and attack all. Go. I think they're coming from the houses. Yeah, some of them are coming from the houses. That's annoying. Oh, damn it, stay here. You can't win against me, says the guy on the floor. Elder's up there. Uh, Igor, do you want to just go attack Elder? Oh, yeah, despite on the stairs, it's really awkward for me to see. 103 damage is not bad. There we go, he's down already. And he's got an AI core. He's dead. <laughs> and that weapon. Okay, Igor's actually encumbered now. Because we've got the preacher on us. Run back downstairs. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, nothing in there. Is there going to be anything of value? The only thing of value really to me is these skeleton repair beds. Because if we can go upstairs fix ourselves up that's that's really good run upstairs everyone if we can get to the top floor take anyone else who decides to follow us that'll be fine and then we can use the repair beds just have a nice time right and a tackle go in the motor what are you doing how do you get up here what? god's sake just get over here oh they're all so annoying sometimes right and hold take them on up here Okay, right, everyone heal yourselves up. Uh, whoever is a skeleton, can you 
basically chuck yourselves on these beds, please. Right, okay, Boozan's up again. That's fine. Uh, okay. Let's move on. Go meet Nak at the outpost. Go. That was a very big success, actually, being able to take them all out. And we just <laughs> annihilated them. Resistance is futile. A bit late for that. That's a go meet Nak now. Go on. Go meet up with Nak, who's at this tiny little outpost over here. Old Empire Supply Outpost. Interesting. Right, let's go see what's in here then. It's going to be exactly the same as the other one, isn't it? Probably. Hello. Masterwork Samurai Leg Plates. That's the ones that we actually want. No. Okay, head upstairs. Anything upstairs? Uh, there's nothing. There's no enemies up here, so that's something. Right, are the others nearby? The others are here. Good. Right, you hang outside. No, nothing of particular interest. Right. Well, just in time because the others are here now. Right. Now that that's done, I think we need to make our way down to the Skin Bandits. There is this place that I discovered on the way before the episode started called the Witch's Hut. So that was where it said the three huts. And I've never heard of it before, so I don't know if it's added by Keizo. I didn't actually get a good look at it, though. So I'm interested to see what that's about. Oh, who are you? Fisherman. Gur Alpha Gurgler. That's the thing that I saw earlier. Oh, you're creepy. If you're a faction, I need to wipe you out. God. Right, well, if he catches up with us, I'm going to have to take him out. But, bizarre. I wonder if he's from the coast then. I didn't see any settlements or stuff when we went round. So, are they more over here? Bizarre. But if they are a faction and they're, and we can destroy them, maybe I'll have to do that. If you know anything about the Gurglers, just let me know in the comments below so I know whether it's worth pursuing that or not. If they are a faction that we can wipe out, I might have to do that. Right, we're here. These are the witches' huts. So, I don't really have a clue about these. Uh... Ooh. Oh, God. Done some sacrificing? Who are you? The crone. With your hand covering your face, apparently. Okay. Doesn't look particularly strong. Uh, Boozan, loot them. Ugh. Human teeth. You are quite foul, aren't you? Uh, are they worth anything? No, they're worth absolutely nothing. That's a uh, scout out here. Nack, you want to pick... Oh, just op open it. Okay. You three go over to this one. Um... Crone's youngest daughter and Crone's eldest daughter. Right, um, all of you attack all then. Go. Are they strong? They are actually not that bad. But they've got basically no armor, so we'll be fine. Uh, not a bad weapon. Good. Okay, Dave, pick them up, pick them up. And nothing in here to loot anyway. Okay, well, that's fine. That's a nice little stop off point and let's go to the skin bandits go on then all right so we've got quite a few people on our shoulders now we could always take them all back to our settlement and imprison them there not necessarily too bad a thing but we're wiping them out we're wiping out the evil from this side of the map anyway this side is basically all clean now there's there's no one here to uh to take us on which is nice all right we just need to take on the skin bandits and we'll be fine i'm just worried about those gurglers i reckon they've got a settlement somewhere nearby and we could probably just take them out and uh everything will be hunky-dory but regardless let's head over the skin bandits now they're just over here we'll wipe them out and we'll be fine right here we go we're just coming up to it uh let's have a look at the stats of them so they're not too bad in terms of stats um they have no armor though because they're skeletons and they're just wearing skin like oh disgusting things but the leader is the one we're after who should be in here so if we can grab into here that would be good apparently it's acid rain as well is it acid rain? But we've got acid rain protection, 110%. So it's only Greeny who's going to be affected, probably. Yeah. Greeny's going to be the only one feeling it. Oh, I feel sorry for you, Greeny. But uh, we won't be here that long. Don't worry. All right, everyone get in. Where is the leader? There he is. Everyone attack all. Go. What's Savant like? He's awful. <laughs> oh, it's because we took his weapon. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty poor. Well, he didn't stand a chance anyway. But we're just going to take him down. How's it How's it going out here? Uh, remember, once we take out skin bandits, we need to loot them for their CPU cores to make sure that they stay down. Knack, you help out. There we go. Knack helps. Yeah. <laughs> Knack, go sneaky, sneaky. Knock him out with the thunk. Take your CPU core. And they're dead. Oh, the crone is... Why is the crone on the floor? Lambert, pick up the crone. Because Boozan fell down. Look at them all. They're just all over the floor. He has no right arm anymore. And he's down. Okay, I think that's basically all of them. There was a little machine in here, wasn't there? So maybe all of you can get in here. 
and maybe that's how we deal with them or we'll chuck them in the skin machines um the others didn't witness it beforehand though so we'll see how they feel about all of it once they actually witness the skin machine happening right go on take them out uh dave loot them thank you thank you at least they're fairly easy to kill once they're downed that's uh that's the end of them so that's something ring ring there we go done and all of you go upstairs right okay we're all here um i think to be honest we should probably just uh chuck them all in one at a time right there's valamon leader of the reavers he's uh he's gonna be no more soon right he's not a happy bunny the pain oh no please right okay he's just about to lose all his limbs uh i can't remember what the uh 125 there we go they've all come off knack you want to um pick the lock get him out of there yeah uh just set free there we go he can just fall on the floor he's uh he's not dead but he soon will be uh who else has got someone dave you want to put in who's this then throne zelda's daughter oh they're not going to take long to go are they no yeah, Valamon's just bleeding out looking at the crone's eldest daughter who is uh, very quickly succumbing to this thing right and that's Valamon dead crone's daughter's just about to lose all her legs there we go all comes out woof, woof, woof. and set free and she can go on the ground who else have we got then let's just repeat it with the other ones we've got i think weirdly knack seems to be enjoying this it's a little bit concerning i'm sorry <laughs> Baldrick just eating a food cube while watching this show oh this is very grim isn't it right we seem to have actually had a skeleton bandit get up for some reason uh, there's a few of them they picked up their dead friend uh oh there's loads where have you all come from i think they've they've come on patrol oh okay no they're not very happy with us whatever the case Oh, Dimac's down. Dimac, how are you down? Right, quickly just loot them and then chuck them in once they're done. Stops them getting back up. There we go, right. The preacher is going to be dead in a minute as well. Nice. Okay, all of you, uh, get back in here then. Oh, Nack just stayed to watch the preacher get absolutely annihilated. That's fine. <laughs> God, this is so dark. So, so dark. Feels good that celebrate with a drink here. Yeah. <laughs> Does it really? <laughs> Does this feel good? Oh, I don't think it feels good. This uh this feels this feels like a really dark moment in uh that Nax Utopian history, doesn't it? Doesn't really feel like Utopia anymore. It just feels like Nax are doing the same stuff that the rest of them are doing. Um, how many are left? Actual number of residents zero. Roaming population seventy three. Did we take out the leader? I don't see the leader here. Did we not pick him up? Nack, I need you to run back in there. See if we can find him. He's there. Okay. Um, Nack, you want to have a go? Go on, Nack. You can do it. Ginless freaks. There is a skeleton bandit out here. Okay, there are actually quite a few still over there. Okay, there we go. Nack, loot him. What's he got? Specialist grade, specialist grade. No, don't need any of that. Pick him up. Oh, we got Paul, Dimmack, and Boozana down. Oh, God. Okay, this isn't good. Right, we're going to need to loot all of these guys. Boozan? No, no. Why is Boozan in there? Uh, Nack, how the hell did they all get imprisoned? How? Like, oh, for God's sake. Um, Nack, go pick the locks. Uh, who else is good at picking locks? Seriously, no one? No one can pick the locks. Dimac, you've got a shot if you keep going. Come on, we can free them. We can free them. Oh, there. God. Right, Dimac, run out of there. Right, everyone go to here. Come on, right, set him free. God, Jesus. Uh, where's Paul? It's lucky we got all this armor on. Knack, pick the lock. Set him free. Jesus. Okay, Boozan, you're right. Right, pick up Savant. Boozan, put him in. You can get a taste of his own medicine. Oh, God, that was a that was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize our guys were all going to be imprisoned as well. Okay, I think that's all of them. Some of our guys are very injured. I mean, especially Boozan. I don't know how he's still up, to be honest. Knack, I might need you to pick up Boozan. Just gonna have Knack run in, make sure that Savant is dead. All right, the rest of you move out from here. Let's head back to the witch's hut. Over here was fairly safe. We know that for certain. I don't really want to explore anywhere else if we don't know what's going on. There we go. We're at the point when the limbs start to fly off. There we go. That's one. <laughs> That's two. And he's dead. 
I think we've done a service. There's still a huge roaming population of 70 people. Uh, five roaming squads, apparently. But there's no actual people in this base anymore. We've completely wiped it out. I think what we're going to do is we're going to hang out here. There's a couple of beds here. We can rest up for a minute. Uh, we'll get Nat to come over here as well. I think then after that, what we're going to do, now that we've taken out basically all of that side, uh, if any of you have any ideas about the gurglers, let me know. I'm not sure whether it's going to have a base over here or something because I've only seen them in this part of the map. Maybe they're up here. Maybe they're around here. I don't know. Uh, but if they are worth taking out, just let me know. I think after that, we're going to have a look at these couple of outposts, see if there's anything worth them in these ones. After that, uh, I want to check out these control towers. There's one has scavengers. I want to see what that's about. The other old towers, I want to see what's in there because they might be some decent loot. After that, I know there are a couple of bits of the map we haven't explored, like the Ashlands, uh, Grey Shelf. We haven't really gone anywhere around this part of it. I'm trying to think of other factions. I mean, I know there's, I know there's Catlon down in Ashlands, but I don't know if they're you would cast them as evil like we're, we're trying to just wipe out the evil factions this i don't think catlon counts as evil i think it's just like let him be here he, he do, he's doing his own thing he's not exactly harming anyone he's just kind of just hanging out there uh the southern hive like are they evil i don't know i don't know i mean if you want me to wipe out the southern hive i will but i'm not sure if they're particularly evil it's they're not like uh fogmen who go and eat people are they i don't think that i don't think they do i don't know so I think what we're going to do between now and next episode is uh, I'm going to let our guys heal up. Then we're going to take on potentially the Gurglers, especially the Swamp Ninjas. We'll take out maybe a couple of other little mini factions if there are any. Uh, if you've got any you want me to take out, let me know and I will. I think after that, we're going to head up to the Cannibal Plains and we're going to start taking them out. Yeah, a bit of a weird one this episode. We seem to have gone from being the good guys to the bad guys. I'm not quite sure how everyone feels about what just happened. <laughs> I'm sure some of them, some of them seem to like it. Um, yeah, in particular, Baldrick, wherever you are. I think it was Baldrick was the one just eating a food cube while watching. Yeah, not, not too sure about that, but some of them might be a bit disgusted, especially the ones back at base. They might not be particularly happy hearing about how the Utopia has basically been founded, how peace has been brought to Kenji, but we skinned people alive and let their, let them bleed out. Probably not the best thing to go back on. Maybe they should stay quiet about that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've liked what's in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Pet, Drew, David, Clint, David, Aaron, Mikhail, DeBlog, Rai, Kylara, Dama, Len, Andrew, Alex, MBH Nexus, T Chaos, Cool Man, Natural Cheese, Jack, Mikey SoundCloud, and King of Thorns. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.